मैं कमेंट प्लीज प्लीज नमस्कार सर नमस्कार व्हाट इज दिस बीसीएआरटी एग्जाम सर बीसीएआरटी हां यू नो दैट नो बीसीएआरटी सर इट्स एनसीईआरटी बट एनसीईआरटी बट आई थिंक इट्स लुकिंग लाइक बीसीएआरटी सर बोर्ड सर इट्स बी ओ आर टी मंडल आर्ट एक्चुअली व्हाट इज दैट सर इट इज एन आर्ट फॉर्म व्हिच इज डन बाय यूजिंग कंसेंट्रिक सर्कल्स सो बेसिकली इट हैज ओरिजिन फ्रॉम आर धार्मिक रिलीजियंस ड्यूरिंग द वैदिक एरा इट अपीयर्ड इट वाज यूज्ड ड्यूरिंग वैदिक एरा टू सिंबलाइज सेवरल थिंग्स फॉर एग्जांपल कंसेंट्रिक सर्कल्स इट वाज यूज्ड टू सिंबलाइज द यूनिवर्स and uh, also the lotus which is exclusively used uh, in the art form it was used uh, to depict the balance of different elements of life and later sir it uh, again uh, reappeared uh, during buddhism uh, the emergence of buddhism uh, so during that time uh, the ashtangika marga of buddhism uh, it used to uh, uh, de- get depicted with uh, the use of mandala art uh, a circle with eight uh, spokes on it it was used to depict uh, the ashtangika marga what is this ashtangika sir it is one of the four arya sachanis four noble truths propounded by lord buddha uh, it basically included eightfold paths that uh, a person has to follow to uh, get uh, the enlightenment in life it included right effort right view right intention right livelihood right speech right concentration right action and right mindfulness acha tell me how buddhism and jainism differ sir jainism uh, believes in more uh, stricter form of ascetism compared to buddhism and uh, jainism did not completely altogether discard the varna vyavastha while uh, it was completely discarded by buddhism and uh, in case of buddhism sir anyone can get mahaparinirvana be it a man or a woman but according to jainism it was a controversy that uh, one of the 24 tirthankaras Uh, was uh, mali so, but some of the people they believe that it was actually mali nad and according to jainism uh, a woman cannot get uh, enlightened uh, cannot get mahapari nirvana or cannot uh, get salvation uh, for a woman one have to do penance and after that uh, they will reborn as a man and then uh, in the next birth they okay, next birth they will they will get yes, okay yeah apne right now the mandala art form presently encompasses which uh, you can say designs uh, sir i couldn't get the question okay, right now mandala art right now you are doing mandala art na? yes sir what is that mandala art you are doing how you are doing that sir i'm usually doing it on pen and uh, on paper pen. Uh, using pen as a good jyoti chitta can can they be sir, in, in jyoti chitta and rangoli also we can use mandala patterns mm-hmm. uh yes sir in that also we can that also you can yes, <coughs> acha uh any significant art form associated with buddhism uh um, sir the gandhara school of art or mathura school of art mm. and another school sir amravati school of art very good and the 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 in the post modern स्टार्टेड द a first uh, newspaper utkala deepika very good so it acted as a, a pedestal step uh, for uh, the growth of uh, odia intellectuals and also uh, it spread awareness among the masses uh, and secondly sir uh, the establishment of revansha university the then katak college uh, it also helped in uh, bringing up uh, educational reformations uh, sir in that way sir it uh, don't you think that the 1866 famine uh, put odisha on uh, the international attention because because 
the much of the crisis was reported in international newspapers because then no, 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 nothing was there in odisha to report this thing eh? but international newspapers reported this crisis yes. and this uh, put an attention on the the crisis that is going on in odisha Achha, any any uh, personality associated with uh, your language movement in odisha odia bhasha amlo Sir, I'm not exactly aware about uh, yeah, Odia Bhasa. Have you heard of Ukkal Samjan? Yes, sir. What was its significance? Uh, sir, mostly the focus of Ukkal Samjan was to uh, uh, demand for a uh, uh, demand for the uh, merge of all the Odia speaking tracts to make a separate uh, state uh, province of Odisha. That was. In political science, who is your favorite thinker? The Kautilya. Kautilya. Why? Uh, sir, um, uh, there is a specific reason I would like to quote uh, a few things. Mm -hmm. So first uh, of all, uh, Jawaharlal Nehru, he wrote in his book, The Discovery of India, mm -hmm. that uh, Kautilya is uh, Indian Machiavelli, mm -hmm. because there is uh, a lot of similarities between the approaches of Machiavelli and Kautilya. Uh, but uh, later it was, uh, criticized by Upinder Kaur. Upinder Kaur uh, said that uh, uh, Kautilya came much earlier compared to that of Machiavelli. Uh, Kautilya was successful in getting his, uh, getting his king, but Machiavelli was not successful in getting his prince. Uh, so uh, instead of uh, calling Kautilya with, uh, Indian Machiavelli, we should call Machiavelli, Machiavelli Western Kautilya. Kautilya. And secondly, sir, uh, the theory of Mandala Siddhanta, which was propounded by uh, Kautilya during that time, I find, uh, I uh, still feel that uh, the Mandala Siddhanta has uh, relevance in the current geopolitics. Uh, so in that way, sir, I uh, think Kautilya is the most relevant thinker even, even today, even though he belonged to ancient uh, India. That's the reason, sir. What is the value inside in our preamble? Um, sir, so first of all, preamble uh, uh, gives us uh, the uh, idea about the nature of Indian state, that is sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic and republic. And secondly, sir, it also gives us the idea about uh, the basic principles that are followed in the uh, constitution, justice, liberty, equality and fraternity. It also gives us the idea on the day uh, in which uh, it was adopted, the constitution, that is 26th November 1949. And fourthly, sir, it also gives us an insight uh, about uh, the origin of power, that is, we the people. Yeah. <clears throat> justice. So many philosophers have told a uh, number of things about justice. Okay. Can you difference between the uh, person of Plato? and person of John Rawls. Yes. So Plato, uh, as it is rightly said by Lasky that every thinker is a philosopher, uh, mm -hmm. is a child of his time. Mm -hmm. So Plato during that time was mostly, um, his theory of justice was, uh, uh, has it had its origin from his theory of soul. Mm -hmm. That is uh, the myth of metal principle that he followed in his theory of soul. So he differentiated man into three different types, men of reason, men of courage and men of appetite. And according to him, the real justice is the justice when there is completely uh, different, uh, a complete uh, separation of these three types and there is no principle of uh, interference between these three types of men. And uh, uh, th that was his theory of justice basically. Yeah. But John Rawls' theory of justice was the fairness theory of justice. That was a procedural theory of justice, uh, which uh, followed the social contract uh, traditions in which uh, he uh, uh, basically assumed that all men, they will uh, pass through the well of ignorance to get into a position where they will act rationally and they will uh, prioritize uh, uh, certain things like uh, he gave a lexical order on, he gave okay. priority to liberty, okay. then okay. equality of okay. liberty. Okay. <clears throat> Achha, <clears throat> what do you understand by welfare state? Welfare state, Sir, a welfare state is a state uh, that uh, uh, keeps in mind uh, the inclusive development of the people under uh, of the underprivileged downtrodden people it uh, makes provisions for the betterment uh, welfareism of uh, people Achha. india is a democracy 
What are the essential features of a democracy? Uh, so the most essential feature of Indian democracy, particularly, I would say, it is a representative form of uh, democracy. Uh, and secondly, sir, uh, uh, it is uh, also a deliberative form of democracy. The parliament uh, gives us a forum uh, for uh, deliberation, uh, deliberation and discussion on different uh, topics. And thirdly, sir, uh, it is a republican uh, democracy. Uh, uh, the uh, he uh, head of the government, uh, he's, uh, or she is elected. These are the... Okay. You did belong to which district? The Jaspur. Jaspur. In Jaspur, there is a place which is very infamous for child malnutrition. Nagada. Nagada. Why? Why that is uh, a hot spot of malnutrition? Uh, sir, uh, it was... Uh, Yes, sir, it, the place is actually located in Sukinda block and uh, the place uh, was completely uh, detached from the mainstream of the society. Yes, main thing is no accessibility. Yes, sir, there was no road, no electricity, no water supply, nothing. But now, sir, the district administration has focused on bringing in all the basic amenities to that area. So, okay, in Jaspur, you are having one uh, strategic oil reserve, petroleum reserve. Sir, in Chandikur. But what is the importance of strategic petroleum reserve? Why we are doing that? Uh, sir, in case of uh, scarcity of petroleum, we can use that strategic uh, oil reserve. Scarcity. Scarcity or uh, volatile global order? Yes, sir, sir, volatile global order. Okay. In Jaspur, you have some Buddhist sites. Yes, sir. What are the Buddhist sites? Uh, sir, we have Ratnagiri, uh, Udaygiri, Langudi. And uh, sir, uh, Lalitgiri on, is on the border of Katak district and Jajpur district. Uh, but mostly it is 70% uh, lies in Katak district. Okay. Sir, uh, you uh, passed on events like election. Oh, there is a debate. No, we won't, won't go to that debate. Okay. But uh, the features, uh, the, I would say, uh, make events are unique in India. Sir, I think uh, the uh, alumni base we have. Alumni is there. Alumni, every university has alumni. Okay, but uh, other things. Um, the, when you enter a new campus, what attracts you the most? Sir, the color of the campus. Color. Later. Another thing, architectural design. Yes, sir. So it reflects British. Uh, that, that is very unique, architectural design. Yes. Very few places you find that this kind of architectural yes. design. Achha, uh, there is a thing called as uh, uh, recently you might be seeing in news that uh, India uh, is trying to uh, get the countries of the global south. Hmm. Why? Why India is trying to? Um, um, I would say try to be the, try to be a leader of global south. Uh, so currently we are uh, following an assertive foreign policy. We are uh, uh, gradually involving from non-alignment to multi-alignment. So the world order is also evolving gradually. It is uh, gradually evolving from uh, an unipolar world order to multipolar world order. So the global south are important. Why India is trying to take the countries of global south? Uh, sir, uh, this could help India to get a permanent seat in uh, UNSC. They, they are very less power. Yes. So, so the global south countries in the global south they are very they are very less human development parameters. How they will help India in getting UNSC permanent member seat? That is one thing. Yes, I agree with you. Yes, sir. But not the most important thing. India has a responsive global power. It has also responsive responsibility to 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 to, to accommodate the interest of countries small countries, Ocean to Oceania the yes. countries, which are which have very few population. Yes. Nobody is listening to them. Yes, sir. Okay. So, India is treasuring the countries which are in the global south. Poverty, malnutrition, health issues, yes. everything is there. So, to have that, to make them uh, heard their voice in the global forum, India is taking the leadership. It also reflects the strategic culture of India. Uh, yes, that yes, is the strategic culture of India. Yes, sir. We always uh, value the disadvantage. Okay. Okay. Sir, I'll just question you. Well, in a saying like that are the political philosophers. So, on a saying like that, the man is born free, but at the time he is in jail. 
it was jean jacques rasho mm, which book uh, sir in social contract oh uh, you have gone through that book social contract no sir okay so when you think of like you know artha shastra yes sir what is this artha yes, shastra yes sir did you pick all an economic book on economy or something else is book also uh, sir it was uh, economy also public diplomacy state craft earlier it was called, called as economy why is it called artha like why is it named artha the way we understand artha means economy money right but uh, got up your title by the artha shastra but it talks of explains about the way the sociology political system and all the things how come the title artha came why did not the title something else with this after or something like that. can i make a guess by uh Sir, uh, sir, to reflect uh, political economy, I would say. Yes, 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 political economy. It is. Thank you. Shall I go? Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you.